Hello everyone, I'm quickly moving on to the video and I'm ranking the God of War games. Enjoy watching. God of War, the groundbreaking title that inaugurated the franchise in 2005, stands as a formidable precursor to its subsequent installments. From its riveting combat sequences to intricate puzzles, the game weaves a compelling narrative around Kratos, who paradoxically seeks vengeance for his family despite being their unwitting murderer. Though plagued by occasional pacing issues, the only true drawback lies in its inability to draw from the refinement and iteration seen in its sequels. To fully appreciate God of War's inaugural release, one must contextualize it within the gaming landscape of 2005. The absence of the enhancements introduced in later iterations may be evident, but revisiting the game offers a nostalgic journey back to its roots. The storyline's emotional depth coupled with the raw intensity of Kratos' quest for retribution, still resonates, ensuring that a return to the origins of the franchise remains a satisfying and enjoyable experience. In just a minute, one can relive the essence of God of War's inception, appreciating the foundation that paved the way for its acclaimed successors. As a result, I'm placing God of War 2005 in the B tier. God of War 2, a quintessential sequel in the realm of video games, stands as a testament to the enduring allure of well-crafted gaming experiences. Adhering to the age-old adage that every game deserves one sequel that is the same, yet superior, God of War II masterfully embodies this principle. Widely regarded as the zenith of the series' gameplay, it continues to captivate action game enthusiasts, earning enduring respect. This iconic title seamlessly blends elements of traversal, combat, puzzle-solving, and Greek drama, creating a harmonious symphony of gaming perfection. For aficionados of the PlayStation console, God of War 2 serves as a nostalgic beckoning, inspiring them to dust off their older consoles for yet another exhilarating run. In the concise span of a minute, players are transported into a world where each button press resonates with the echoes of an epic odyssey. God of War 2 not only meets but surpasses the expectations set by its predecessor, leaving an indelible mark on the gaming landscape. As its timeless appeal continues to endure, this sequel remains a shining star that beckons players to relive the magic of ancient Greece, one button press at a time. As a result, I'm placing God of War II in the S tier. Lost in the annals of time, God of War Betrayal stands as one of the series' intriguing mysteries side-scrolling phone beat-em-up that diverges from the epic 3D landscapes of its console counterparts. While it may not rival the visual prowess of its larger siblings, this mobile Java title manages to encapsulate the essence of God of War within the constraints of its compact format. Unearthed from the archives of mobile gaming, God of War Betrayal offers a unique glimpse into Kratos' world on a smaller screen. The game, though eclipsed by its more technologically advanced successors, deserves recognition for its accomplishments within the mobile gaming realm. It is a testament to the developer's ability to distill the intensity and brutality of God of War into a handheld, side-scrolling experience. Tracking down this relic of gaming history might prove challenging, but for those dedicated fans who manage to uncover it, God of War Betrayal promises a brief yet authentic journey into the mythic realms of Kratos, encapsulated in a mere pocket-sized adventure. As a result, I'm placing God of War Betrayal in the C tier. God of War Chains of Olympus, the inaugural entry for the PlayStation Portable PSP, falls short of the franchise's usual standard. While it successfully brings the classic God of War gameplay and visuals to the handheld console, its brevity for a God of War installment is marred by an abundance of block-pushing puzzles. The game's minimalistic plot further detracts from its overall impact, rendering God of War Chains of Olympus little more than a preliminary chapter paving the way for Ghost of Sparta. In the compact span of its gameplay, it fails to deliver the immersive experience synonymous with the series, leaving players craving the depth and narrative prowess found in its successors. As a result, I'm placing God of War Chains of Olympus in the C tier. God of War 3 stands as a classic in the gaming world, albeit landing slightly below its predecessor, God of War 2, on many fans' personal tier lists. 
Despite nuances in gameplay and story, the third installment in the series boasts an undeniable epicness. The sheer spectacle it introduces surpasses anything seen in the earlier games, a feat that even the highly anticipated God of War Ragnarok might struggle to match in gargantuan set pieces throughout its runtime. While some criticize God of War 3 for occasionally sidelining its combat and storytelling with these grandiose moments, and the overemphasis on quick time events that may deter certain players, the payoff is immense. The game delivers the most epic final showdown imaginable between the protagonist, Kratos, and the mighty Olympian gods. It's a small price to pay for an unforgettable gaming experience, where the scale of the conflict and the intensity of the battles create a truly immersive and memorable journey. In the end, God of War 3 cements its status as a classic, not just for its narrative or gameplay nuances, but for the unparalleled sense of grandeur it brings to the epic tale of Kratos' confrontation with the gods. As a result, I'm placing God of War 3 in the A tier, God of War. Ghost of Sparta, the second PSP entry in the franchise, stands out among its spin-off counterparts for successfully living up to the high standards set by its mainline counterparts. Building upon the polished gameplay of its predecessor, Chains of Olympus, Ghost of Sparta goes beyond mere refinement, making significant contributions to the overarching narrative of the God of War series. One of the most noteworthy aspects of Ghost of Sparta is its introduction of Kratos' brother, Deimos, marking his sole appearance in the God of War universe. In this short yet impactful game, players are treated to a deeper exploration of Kratos' origins, adding layers to the complex character that is the Ghost of Sparta. The game's brevity does not diminish its value. Instead, it offers a concentrated and meaningful experience for fans eager to delve into Kratos' backstory. Ghost of Sparta manages to strike a balance between delivering satisfying gameplay and enriching the overall God of War narrative. For enthusiasts keen on understanding the roots of Kratos' journey, this title proves to be a hidden gem well worth uncovering. As a result, I'm placing God of War Ghost of Sparta in the B tier. God of War Ascension, despite its potential to deepen the God of War narrative by exploring the series' early chronology, falls short of expectations set by its predecessor, God of War 3. Positioned as a portable offering, Ascension failed to captivate players, showcasing divisive gameplay changes that polarized the fanbase. The earliest installment in the series, while not a bad game, lacks the narrative impact one would anticipate. One of the game's notable drawbacks is its unsteady camera, a feature that, at its worst, obscures combat and hampers the overall gaming experience. Despite introducing intriguing multiplayer elements with unique ideas, God of War Ascension struggles to distinguish itself within the illustrious franchise. It's a title that doesn't quite measure up to the stellar reputation set by its predecessors, leaving fans with a sense of unmet expectations. In the grand tapestry of the God of War series, Ascension stands as a less memorable chapter, failing to shine brightly among its star-studded counterparts. As a result, I'm placing God of War Ascension in the C tier. In 2018, the God of War series underwent a risky transformation with a soft reboot, introducing RPG elements and a new camera angle. Fans initially expressed concerns about these changes and wondered how the narrative would continue from the ending of God of War 3. Despite these apprehensions, God of War 2018 defied expectations and became a massive hit. The Norse setting and characters quickly won over fans, showcasing the franchise's ability to take on new forms. While some criticized the limited enemy variety impacting the standout side quests, the overall success of God of War 2018 underscored the series' capacity for evolution. This installment proved that the God of War legacy could thrive in diverse iterations embracing change and captivating audiences in unforeseen ways. As a result, I'm placing God of War 2018 in the A tier. God of War Ragnarok, the latest entry in the legendary gaming series, seamlessly continues the narrative and gameplay introduced in the 2018 game, successfully concluding the Norse saga in just two installments. While the game's length may test the patience of some players, 
It effectively addresses and resolves every concern raised about its predecessor. Expanding on the foundations laid by the 2018 title, Ragnarok crafts a mesmerizing story that provides a gratifying conclusion to the Norse mythology arc. The commitment to refining the gaming experience is evident, positioning God of War Ragnarok as one of the standout first-party titles on the PlayStation 5. The game's meticulous attention to detail and dedication to pushing the boundaries of gameplay contribute to its distinction. God of War Ragnarok not only meets, but surpasses expectations, earning its place as a must-play for both series enthusiasts and newcomers. In the realm of PlayStation 5 exclusives, Ragnarok stands tall, offering an immersive experience that leaves a lasting impact, solidifying its status as a pinnacle of storytelling and gameplay. As players embark on this epic journey, they are treated to a gaming masterpiece that captivates from start to finish. As a result, I'm placing God of War Ragnarok in the S-tier. The video ends here. In your opinion, which is the best God of War game? Write in the comments and let's discuss. See you in another video. Don't forget to subscribe.